guys, it's Mr. Razai here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the soon-to-be new robot, the Rivana. Now this is a real topic of contention. So what's happening is we're expecting it this week because there was no test server last weekend. The well, at least Android this week will be getting an update where you'll be getting three new robots, a new event, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's also going to be a little face shift nerf and a um, the coronas and halos and glories and all the lockdown stuff is going to get a lockdown overhaul which is pretty nice seeing lockdown is going to now just be uh, you know just like freezing effect instead of random which is pretty great now it is a really popular topic this ravana robot here and a lot of people aren't liking it because this is basically what we're expecting to be the new leech um, the new, basically the thing is about it, so it is another robot, has very high power firepower, uh, unlike Leech, which has four weapons, it only has three medium weapons. However, it can actually fight a Leech and beat it quite often, and that is because of its ability. Its ability is essentially just an amped up phase shift module and the phase shift module itself is already getting nerfed the phase shift module is now going to have a slightly lower cooldown however instead of lasting a big really really big five seconds it now only lasts three seconds and now this robot has two charges of this phase shift that lasts of i believe three seconds so it gets six seconds total but while it's in its phase shift it moves extremely quickly like for this three seconds it goes as far and basically as fast as a dash bot would go with its dashes so it's like a super beefed up dash bot i think that's a very interesting concept and considering how it looks this is most definitely going to be um the lunar new year event robot um this, they're probably going to come in Lunar New Year event chests uh, if they do Hong Bao Lottery again. Hopefully this time they learn their lesson with Hong Bao Lottery less time and give us an actual decent Hong Bao Lottery. But uh, the, that, that being said, I, the thing with this is if you generally you'll see this fighting leeches and it will just dodge the entire leech's uh, ability by just face shifting out of it and using its ability to get away from it and then when the leech is just defenseless like the leech just has its uh, you know thrown out of its ability and its face shift because the ravana outlasted it this ravana even though it lacks a little bit of firepower at level eight this has the so the test server because this is what we know about it on the test server this thing has 190,000 health at level eight and to give you guys an idea the current meta robot, which is Leech, has 90,000 health. So I don't think this one medium ro weapon is going to make up for the extra 100,000 damage it has to do to beat this without its ability. And I think that this is really, it's going to be a good counter to the Leech. I don't want to go bash Pixonic and say, oh, they're screwing the Leech over just so that they could sell a big new robot. No, this is actually a pretty inventive idea. Instead of just completely making the leech worthless, they offer a counter to the leech. Now, if you play smart, you can still beat this. It's not a ridiculous robot. You know, there's it's going to be just another new meta robot, and I really enjoy that that's happening. It's, you know, it's 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 acceptable, to say the least. It's not just completely ruining the game. It's going to give us a little bit more leeway, and we're going to have that event. So that event's going to probably come out, and we'll probably get either... Uh, some of us will be lucky, we'll get a whole one of these. You might just get some components out of it. And that, I think, is really great. So, um, uh, it's basically, it's just going to be a different leech. It's not going to be a better leech. It's going to be specifically a leech counter. A lot of people who make it out to be a better leech are just completely overblowing the situation. You need to get this thing here. It doesn't wreak as much havoc of the leech as the leech does. The leech goes in, has its 10 second ability, where it can shoot all its once and never die. But this, in its little face shift, can't shoot while it's face shifting. It just goes really quickly. Its ability is completely meant for evading. So that makes it a really good counter to the leech. So when it's using its ability, it's not really, it's not dangerous. 
and that makes it really so you're not gonna run in just like a leech and do the same damage or even more than a leech would do you're but you are going to be able to specifically defeat the leech but like when you do the things like leeches do where they run into a big battle and there's like three enemies and they can tank all that damage and kill two of them and before they die or something or kill four enemies even if there's only three there in the first place it's not going to be able to do that it'll maybe kill one maybe kill two if you're a really good pilot but this is, I think, it is more balanced than what we're seeing in current the current game, and it's a, it's a it's at least a step forward. Uh, alongside it, there are being released the Nightingale and the Cerberus. Now, the Cerberus in particular, they've already said that the Cerberus is actually going to be free. The Battle Pass or Operation Pass, as they call it in this game that will launch in February is actually going to have this as the last battle pass reward for not actually the normal battle pass, no, for the free pass. So at level 80, all players can get this if they make it to that battle pass level. And I think that's really great there because they're actually making this bot out to be a meta robot that can actually compete in higher leagues, which is very interesting. Uh, what they've shown basically it has a three shot rotary cannon thing originally when they were making it i thought that it was going to shoot them one at a time which if this thing is too overpowered which i don't really think it will be it seems quite balanced that three shot rotary cannon could be nerfed to shoot it one at a time but currently it just launches this big slug of basically make whatever you're looking at worthless and i believe it has on a 10 second cooldown and it's, it's really interesting it the robot itself isn't absurdly tough it has high it has pretty powerful weapons two mediums and one heavy and uh it also has a constantly regenerating always up uh aegis shield and that is a really nice thing to see it's a new inventive idea and i think that this Cerberus will definitely be a nice robot um i'm not sure the means of getting it other than the battle pass maybe it's going to be exclusive to the battle pass but i do bet that they'll probably sell it for gold or components later on now next, this right, this uh, Nightingale is actually a really, I, I like the Nightingale. I think it's a really nice robot they're making here. Now when I first looked at the test server and I saw the Nightingale, I thought, oh no, they're power creeping out, Joan. The, uh, the, everybody's favorite robot, it's like a year old, they're going to break its knees and, re and release this thing and it's just going to make it completely better because what it does is it has 15, or has a, 16 seconds of stealth flying which is double what Aljun has i believe Aljun has like eight and so do all the other dragon robots and you know it flies up and it has its little suppression beam and heals now i actually completely underestimated the size of this thing this thing is actually about that big in comparison to the other two i actually thought this thing was massive and it was going to be like okay this is like this is basically it's like the size of the Aljun. Like, I was thinking this thing was going to walk in here like this, and it was just going to completely crap on all the Aljuns everybody loves, just by out-stealthing out them because its ability lasts longer. But no, this is actually a very balanced robot, and I think that this will become the number one best healer in the game by far, hands down. Like, Tyr, you know, it was great, Wayland, Mender, but if you are like an adamant healer and you like healing, this thing is going to completely just change your hanger. You're going to want a whole hanger of these things. They're so great. I mean, you fly up and you have this healing circle. And, like, I'm pretty sure your ability literally is longer than your cooldown. It's, like, 16 seconds and then, like, I think 10 or 15 seconds cooldown. And and while you can't shoot in your ability, because I also didn't know, know that, that you couldn't shoot while you were in your ability. So you have only, you have pretty low firepower, two mediums, one light. And when you're flying, those weapons all, like, go back and you can't shoot them at all. But you get this little suppression laser. So this thing, I mean, you're going to like fly over your Titan. Nobody can shoot you unless they have anti-stealth. Anti-stealth is going to be pretty crazy. Um, what's it called? It's, it's really going to beat this robot. It's going to counter it pretty well because it doesn't fly really fast like Aljun, so it can't dodge an anti-stealth. So this robot's really going to be dead meat to anti-stealth. But if you're being anti-stealth, you can just, you know, suppress the person who's anti-stealthing you because you have this like beam just constantly shooting like a bit, uh, about half the speed of a magnum i think it just keeps shooting these suppression beams and you could like 75 percent less damage to the entire entire enemy team to you and you and you and your breathtaking <laughs> anyway so um it, it's these i think these this pack is going to be relatively balanced 
it's really not going to be the oh the leech killers the meta rollers the breakers the killers the the evil company hate 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 buy buy money less money uh, really the only like i think that this is going to be a good change to the game you know i i you wouldn't really catch me saying that normally but like these things look like they're just you know they look fine the Cerberus and the Nightingale are very balanced and they're very good utility robots and, and this is like an amazing healing robot. I just can imagine like this Arthur or something walking into battle with these things making it just completely invincible by flying around it. That sounds like a really fun idea. But I am worried about the Ravana and I'm worried about this robot because you know I run three leeches, so I'm going to have to, I, I know it's kind of, it sounds a bit scary, but I'm going to have to develop actual skill because this thing is going to counter leeches pretty effectively. So like, I'm going to have to, the, the, the thing that you would basically want to be doing to this Ravana is, I guess you want to lock it down and run, but my leeches run storms, not Coronas. So, um, that's going to make it even harder to fight against these. But I do think it's healthy to have counters in a game, and I'm willing to go up and accept the challenge. It's getting a bit boring, just, you know, blasting leeches and algins and phantoms, and that's all in Champion League. It's going to be fun to see new robots coming in and joining, jumping into the fray, and we'll have this. This one is going to be a good counter to leech, but I think leech will still be able to do... Uh, it's going to pretty much do pretty well on the Cerberus. That Nightingale, though, oh my god, that's going to be the bane of all leeches. It's just going to fly up comfortably. No leech is running anything but phase shift, and it's just going to rain hell on us with those little annoying suppression beams, and all the leeches aren't going to be able to do anything. So th this thing is just filled with leech counters, and that's really... So th th they're balanced, and they counter a really crazy overpowered robot, and that is nice. Like, I, I don't know how they managed to do that. Like, even the servers, if you, I mean, I, I think that most leeches are running now uh, anti-control, so the servers might not be as great because it's just going to shoot the leech, and I mean, that corrosion is going to start ticking, but the lockdown and the, and the suppression are just going to get completely anti-stealth. But with the Nightingale, it'll be able to actually proc that anti-self and then shoot it again and then again and then again. And the leech is just, or, or not anti-self, but anti-control. It's going to proc it and it's going to, you know, it'll be able to make that leech not be do, doing as much damage to all of its teammates while itself staying relatively safe. Unless there's just some genius leech that decides to use a, an anti-stealth instead of a phase shift for some reason. And that is pretty cool. So the Pixonic was able to see that basically the weakness of Leech is that it's forced to use phase shift so that it can perform well. And therefore, robots that have things that, you know, can out outlast this phase shift uh, are able to or not yeah, outlast the phase shift and the ability are really going to be able to counter it well. Now, I want to address the main concern with Rivana, not just that it's going to be the big overpowered, big bad, nobody likes it robot. I think the problem with Ravana is that nobody likes face shift. Like people want face shift out of the game and now they're adding a robot that has a built-in face shift. And you know, I, I have to agree with people, face shift like in Adrian's words, it's like you might as well be shooting at a wall and it's really, it's it's an annoying ability. It's like you came, you joined this robot game for the, the purpose of shooting other robots in the world killing them kill you kill you get killed by them whatever and you keep going like that and you're fighting but when you're sh when you get in a, a robot and you shoot it and you get it cornered and it's in a really bad situation and it just clicks the saved button and you know it's just fine and it go you know can outlast your ability and then use its ability you know it makes it really annoying and we're having now the face shift itself is being nerfed which is a really good it's a step in the right direction because you know you used to be able to get seven seconds of face shift with the with the what's it called the uh, modules expert skill so you could just be invincible for absurdly long time and now even if you get mod modules expert it's not even going to increase by like one second i don't think um so it's pretty insane to see this like uh you know we're gonna have this just the three second phase shift which in in itself if they just did that that would have been great but now they have a robot that also has two three second phase shifts and then it'll also be able to equip a phase shift and i think that the only way that these things are going to be solved is if pixonic does that one 
they were actually specifically saying in a uh, in the, the poll, like the 2019 final poll, they polled everybody and they said uh, there's actually a specific option, option that you can vote for. The, the way that they would balance active modules is by making it so that some certain robots cannot actually use active modules for, like, so for example, they could, I was actually thinking of this before they even said that. Let's say Evo Life, which is the creators of. I actually pretty sure that I, I said this in the Leech in the in the we're our, we're about to reviews Leech video. Evo Life, the creators of Leech, they have a grudge with uh, Icarus Technologies, which are the creators of Face Shift. So Icarus Technologies made their Face Shift not work with Leech, and uh, you know we have a little addition to the lore, and it's a good balance. And you could do the same thing with this. Uh, uh, what it called or this Ravana so it gets just it's two face shifts and it doesn't get this third extra crazy one and you know because it just makes all the difference and but with that being said you know I'm looking forward to this update I'm having high hopes for it and I hope that you guys do too uh, tell me what you think in the comments I'll be replying to as many comments as I can and that's not that hard considering I usually don't get that many comments um, I'm hoping We'll get like lag issues fixed and all that uh, maybe silver issues fixed changed whatever whatever and uh, i'm also really crossing my fingers to get that uh cross server merge really soon because uh you know ios and uh android will be able to face you know less extremely high level players although if you'd like uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna have a little, you know, card that you could go check out and see uh, my video, a little guide on how you could actually beat higher level players just with skill and face shift and all that nonsense that you have uh, yourself uh, without being as high level as them. Anyway, I think that I've ranted on this video too long. Actually, I don't even know if this was a rant. It's more like a praise or something. I don't know. Uh, this this video has been a while, you know. Uh, that, that's all I really have to say. Um, I'm Mr. Adazahi, poorly drawn octopus. Catch you on the flip side.